Hey guys, welcome back to another do-it-yourself repair video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take damage like you see right here due to rebar that rusted and make it look like what you see right here. As you can see, a perfectly smooth repair job. Many repair jobs shown on YouTube show a very rough surface when the job has been completed. There is going to be an echo as you can hear. Unfortunately, it's because I'm inside of a concrete storage room. Now to get started, the first thing you want to do is take a look at the area that's damaged. This one is pretty clean. The piece fell off the ceiling already. Sometimes you may see a hairline crack and a piece trying to fall off. If you do, you want to take a screwdriver, a slot screwdriver, insert it into the crack and very gently pry because you want to remove all the pieces of concrete that are almost getting ready to fall off of the ceiling. After that's done, I would recommend taking a scraper, scraping at least six inches around the repair area. So go from this point here, in my case, to the wall, out to here, because we are going to blend in this repair area at the end. So you want to go further out. Take a scraper, remove any loose paint, any little areas of concrete that might be sticking down. And even better, if you have a pressure washer, I recommend pressure washing this entire area and if you do that a concrete bond will be outstanding. If you take a look at the rebar you can see there's chunks of rust. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take a screwdriver and make sure you have safety goggles on of course and you're going to tap this with a hammer to remove all those loose pieces of rust. Make sure you get all the way to where the rebar meets the concrete. Just wiggle the blade and it should pop off any loose rust. Okay, looks pretty good. Now newer construction, especially by the ocean or big buildings, would tend to use epoxy coated rebar, it looks green, and by using epoxy coated rebar decades later, if it's subjected to moisture, the concrete and the rebar, you will not have this happen. So, a lot more money than ordinary rebar, but it will prevent this from happening years down the road. With that clean, the next thing you want to do is take a wire brush, and you want to wire brush this entire area straight down the rebar. Over here is the brush I'll be using, just a steel bristle brush. You want to make sure you have a mask on before doing this because you are going to generate some dust. Just like that. The next thing you're going to do is take a toothbrush. You want to clear away all of the dust that's on the rebar. Now over here, there's a little bit of a hairline crack. But you can hear it's solid. If you bang on it and it sounds hollow, that's an area that's not bonded well and it's gonna fall down later on. So you'd wanna reach into where the crack is and pop off the chunk. So we're good over here. And this hairline crack is because of some pressure that's being exerted by the rebar. Now we don't have to do anything here besides take some of this polyurethane mortar fix. When it's all finished, inject it right into that line. Smooth it with your finger before you paint. Now the next step, we're going to take something to put on here to prevent this from happening in the future. And to do that, we're going to be using Rust-Oleum enamel, gloss enamel. It makes no difference to color. This happens to be white but I'm going to coat the entire rebar with two coats. You're going to take a brush like this. You can pick this up at any art supply store. They're very inexpensive, two bucks. And you're gonna paint that rebar right where it meets the concrete. And if the concrete happens to go over the rebar, make sure you clean the top of the rebar as well and paint the top side. Okay, it's now tacky but it's not coming off of my finger. Let's apply one more coat. And you can see it's really white. Well, 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Now you want to let this dry overnight. This is dry, it's sat overnight. The next thing you're going to need is a bowl, paintbrush, and some concrete bonding adhesive. This one I picked up at Home Depot, it's made by Lanco. You're going to take the bonding glue and you're going to apply it to the entire area over the rebar. You also want to extend out about six inches all the way around. You want to apply a thick coat, but not too thick, to the point where you have the bonding glue dripping. Okay, that looks good. Let's wait two hours, come back, and I'll show you how to make this repair so it's really smooth and almost unnoticeable. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours. The bonding agent has dried. It's only slightly tacky, and what's going to happen, the moisture from the mortar or stucco mix, once it's applied to this area, it's going to activate that bonding agent. So now let me show you how to mix up the mortar and the consistency that you want. Make sure you place water in the pail first. By doing that, you're going to eliminate any chance of dry spots at the bottom of the pail. Only mix what you think you're going to use. Right here is the consistency that you want. It's not soupy and it's firm. What you want to do first to prevent the mortar from falling off the ceiling is put the mortar in your hand and you're going to force it into the aggregate and around the rebar. You're going to work it in, cover the whole area first, and then we're going to take a trowel and then pull a nice flat surface along the ceiling. Work it in. If you don't do this step first, it will definitely all fall down. So work it in. If the area is much deeper, you're going to have to do this in two or three layers. And if you're going to do two or three layers, you want to leave it rough, just like you see here, but you want to make sure that there's no mortar stucco mix hanging down below the level of the ceiling. You could take a one by two, a firing strip, just go back and forth from this surface to here to make sure nothing is hanging down lower. Okay, now that looks good. You can see I placed a large amount of the mortar stucco on this trowel. Now I'm going to get very close to the ceiling here. And I'm going to force it very hard into that opening. Work that in more. Push very hard. Now we're going to wait about a half an hour for that to set up a little bit and then we're going to finish the surface. The next thing you're going to need is a firm sponge. This is used for tiling floors when you're going to wipe off the grout. Make sure it's a firm sponge. If it's a soft sponge, you're going to end up pulling everything out of the ceiling. Take the sponge, apply light pressure, and use a circular motion. You want to blend in all the edges. Closer to the wall, you may want to use a smaller sponge. Just very light pressure, circular motion. If you see that you're pulling a lot of the mortar off the ceiling, you have to wait longer. Right here's a little spot I want to add some more, so let's just add a little bit of mortar there. I can add just a little bit in this area. Perfect. Very awkward position because the camera is right against my body. I should be directly under it. That looks good. No reason for the job not to come out very nice. Just take your time and blend everything in. This is the step that most people don't do and they end up with a lousy job where you can see the patch. So just 
Just keep dragging it out. And this is what you can expect if you use the sponge properly. Now I'm going to let this set up for about two hours, maybe three. Once I touch it and it's firm, I'm going to take a spray bottle with water and I want to mist this whole area two to three times a day for two days. If you're going to paint it, wait at least one week. It's been about two hours and you can see the middle of it is starting to become white. You're going to take a spray bottle filled with water and you're going to keep it damp for two to three days. Spray it two to three times a day. It prevents cracking and it makes sure that the stucco cures much harder. When I did this repair, I also did another larger area just to show you how good this comes out. You can see all the rebar that's painted white. And then after the bonding agent and the stucco applied, look at that. Perfectly smooth. You can expect the same results if you follow the steps outlined in this video. As always, thanks for watching.